The Gray Swamp Sanctuary is about 600 acres of hardwood Braided Creek Swamp. Uh, and it is part of the Great Swamp, which is formed by the Jones Swamp Creek and the Perry and Doctors Creek. And they come in, uh, they form the Great Swamp, uh, which then goes on to the, become the Ashapoo River, which is one of the three rivers of the Ace Basin, the Ashapoo, Cumbia, and Edison Rivers. Because it's a, a hardwood flats, Braided Creek Swamp, it, most of the life is up in the in the canopy. So uh, this is a bird sanctuary. We have a lot of migratory fowl that come through. Um, anything that would be on the ground, uh, t typically you won't find in here. You know, not a lot of um, uh, big mammals uh, in here because it is it is wet a lot of the time. So this is a great place to come bird watch. A braided creek is really just a, another way to say a really low hardwood forest. Uh, what happens is because this is the low country, when the water level rises, it just it just finds a way to go. And so uh, it's several creeks that come together. Uh, they'll form pools and they'll separate. Sometimes they'll go beneath, beneath the uh, root mass uh, and, then, and then separate and they go their own way again until eventually it forms the river. Uh, a lot of people come in here and they do uh, bike riding, they do walking and running. Like I said, bird watching is a, is a great thing to do in here uh, and just a, a great place to come enjoy some nature. I mean, we are right off of I-95, but we get a lot of people in here from other places that come and see uh, what the low country has uh, from an ecosystem point of view. Uh, and, and also, it's you know, we have about three miles of trails. They're ADA accessible. Uh, and you see a lot of people in here that uh, cannot go to your traditional uh, ecotourism places because of access. So this is a great place for them to come. Right now, we've built out about half of our trails. Uh, the next phase is for us to build the Discovery Center, and the Discovery Center is a 10,000 square foot uh, live animal exhibit uh, that will kind of uh, package everything that you would see. Uh, a lot of those things are nocturnal that you may not see if you come here during the day. Uh, it'll be a great experience for uh, locals and for tourists alike. Uh, and then beyond that, we have more trails we want to put in. When we're looking at what resources we have uh, when you're thinking about economic development, uh, there is nothing better than natural resources. Uh, it's not renewable, it's inextinguishable because we've protected it, uh, it will always be here, and it's always something that's going to be beautiful and people are going to want to see. And uh, if we can encourage people to come and enjoy it, then they can also um, visit our businesses and, and that also has a, a great impact. The Great Swamp Sanctuary is a hidden treasure because of its location and what it has to offer. It is 600 acres right off of I-95, so anybody can come in here and see it. Uh, it's right next to our downtown, so it's not in, in the middle of, of nowhere. Uh, you can come in here, you can enjoy a day, you can go to our restaurants, you can go shopping. Uh, it's, it's, it's a package deal, and that's what makes it so great.